Infozones is listed on the main board, well, since the beginning of this year, has a market cap of about 126 million rand, currently trading at a PE of almost 10, and the share price is 68 cents. Can you tell us in 30 seconds, what does Infozones do? It's a supplier of products to the industrial minerals, industrial sector and construction sector. Um, primarily within the, the iron and steel industry, we supply fluxing agent or a dolomite product through to, to the foundries and, and then also through to the, the um, little bit through to the glass market and to the tile adhesive market as well. So we have a dolomite product and we have a limestone product and we have a silica sand which we put into the, into the industry. Trevor, now you're, you've, you've had a very difficult year, the, the market's been very difficult. You're saying your results of the global and, and domestic downturn led to the drop in headline earnings per share. What, which one of your divisions was the worst impacted by the global downturn? Uh, we have three mines. The, the Delft mine was the one that had the biggest impact. Um, its turnover drop or its production dropped by 20%. It was mainly in the foundry industry, um, where we supply the silica sand through to them. Um, that dropped, in that sector, dropped by 36%. But on the other side, we had a good uptake on the tile adhesive sector, which is the, the building sector. Um, that increased by 28%. So a little bit of a mixed bag. The, the Delft mine primary market is the foundry industry. Um, so as soon as that took its dive through the, through the course of the year, we, we followed suit in terms of the volumes that we, we supply them. Trevor, we're now three months into your new year. How are things looking so far? Are you seeing an upturn in demand? Well, if we look at Delft Mine in terms of the foundry industry, yes, there's a slow, we saw at the beginning of the year, slow, a very slow return as they bring back on their, their furnaces. Um, and we'll see that trend gradually go through the year. The tile adhesive sector for the Delft Mine has continued to go fairly strong. Um, we've seen that to continue as such. In terms of other two mines in Littleton and Marble Hall, they have a mixed bag. The island steel industry we've seen come through fairly strongly in the, in the last quarter and we see that trend continuing through. The construction industry where we supply a dolomitic aggregate through, we've seen that starting to level off and we see that continuing like that through the rest here. I think the mine is, particularly Littleton, is well placed in being in central Pretoria. Um, and the other product that we supply is to, to, to the underground coal mining, which is a powder. And that's been very bullish through the through last year, and we see that continuing through into this year as well. So things are looking up for the year ahead. It's it's see, it's it's positive for us, yes. Yeah. Trevor, and um, in closing, you didn't declare a dividend this year. Um, when when do you think you will resume the the dividend? I don't see us providing a dividend that's in six months' time. I think we'll have a good review of results then. Um, possibility towards the end of end of next year again.